The purpose of this short video is to provide newly assessed eligible airmen and guardians information about their required Montgomery GI Bill election and when to make that election. We will briefly discuss the Montgomery GI Bill program, provide a few resources to facilitate individual program research, identify the election window outlined in a recent change in law, and identify where you can go to complete your required Montgomery GI Bill election. Let's get started. Hello, I am Master Sergeant Bates coming to you from the Air Forces Personnel Center in San Antonio. With me today is Technical Sergeant Harding. Say hello, Sergeant Harding. Hello from the Air Forces Personnel Center. We're here today to discuss with you your Montgomery GI Bill election. The Montgomery GI Bill is one educational assistance entitlement for service on active duty and the program requires service members entering active duty for the first time to opt out or decline if they do not wish to remain enrolled. A declination is required in writing. Please note, officers commissioned via the Air Force Academy and some ROTC scholarship graduates are ineligible for the Montgomery GI Bill program. Questions should be directed to your base education office personnel. All other officers and enlisted airmen and guardians must make an election into the Montgomery GI Bill program via DD Form 2366, the basic enrollment form. Members making an election to remain enrolled will have their pay reduced by $100 each month starting after the Montgomery GI Bill program election window. That's right, but before any of that happens, you should receive a Montgomery GI Bill briefing, seek advisement from your base education and training office personnel, or conduct your own research on the GI Bill programs. Some of you may have already received a briefing during basic military or officer training. Spot on, Sergeant Harding. And those of you who might be wondering, enrollment in the Montgomery GI Bill is not required to gain eligibility for the post 9-11 GI Bill. Now, let's tackle those resources. If you did not receive a GI Bill briefing during initial skills training, or you are still not sure what the Montgomery GI Bill program is about, visit your base education and training office. Base education office personnel can provide you general GI Bill information or provide additional research materials to aid in making your decision. You may also visit the Department of Veteran Affairs website, search My FSS Knowledge Articles, or contact the Total Force Service Center here at the Air Forces Personnel Center. Once you've done your homework and are ready to make an election, where and when should that happen? Tech Sergeant Harding? The election window changed to the 90 days following 180 days in service. This change allows you additional time to research GI Bill programs and to ensure you make an informed decision. You must wait until you reach 180 days from your date entered active duty to make an election and must make that election prior to reaching 270 days in service. Any election made outside that election window is deemed invalid. Also, keep in mind, if you do not make an election to decline during the election window, you will be enrolled in accordance with United States Code. So make a note, set a calendar reminder, and take care of business. Where do you take care of business? It's simple. Once you have done your research and are ready to make an election, visit the Air Force Virtual Education Center via direct link or from the Air Force portal. But be sure you are making an informed decision because your decision is irrevocable. Once on the Virtual Education Center homepage, select MGIB election from the Education Record menu on the left-hand side. Then you may complete and submit your election via electronic completion of DD Form 2366. Once a certified official completes the form, your personnel record will be updated and a copy of your completed form will be filed in your electronic personnel record for your access. It's that simple. Remember, mark your calendars. You must wait until you have reached 180 days in service to make an election under the Montgomery GI Bill program, but you cannot make the election after 270 days in service. If you have any questions, contact your base education office personnel. Thank, Thank you. you. This video was brought to you by the Air Forces Personnel Center.